Uh, Mike, John Herrick, uh, CTB Sports Radio, and Enid. Uh, what did you make of the way uh, Nene played today? It looked like he got a lot of good activity in the post. What allowed him to be successful down there? Uh, it was kind of a man's game, and he's a man. I mean, he, guys, I mean, he was un unbelievable in all facets, and that's that's Nene. You know, he uh, doesn't surprise me, but uh, he was able to gather up a lot of stuff and just dunk it, and he was he was terrific. Coach, can you talk about just acquiring him, what you were expecting from him when, when you arrived and he was there? Well, you know, when we got him, everybody said if he can stay healthy, he's one of the better centers, maybe the best center in the league. It's true. And he give him credit for working every day and keeping his body right. And our trainers do a great job with him. And we try to spread his minutes out during the, the year. And uh, we actually did that, in, what's the day? I don't know, Sunday, Friday. Friday, we only played 15 minutes. So... Uh, he was ready to roll, and he, he rolled. Uh, Mark Berman from Fox and Houston. Mike, after the game, James told ABC that he had rolled his ankle in game three, didn't have his normal explosion and burst. Can you talk about what he did today in spite of the injury? You know, it's just how they fought. It was just it was incredible. And, you know, it wasn't pretty, uh, but we did put 40 points up in the fourth quarter. But it was all by guts. It was just playing hard and playing, uh, uh, playing playoff basketball. And, you know, we finally got into it the way you got to get into it. And uh, hopefully it will carry over next game. Still got work to do, but uh, this is a big step. More questions for Coach? Back here. Calvin Watkins, uh, ESPN. Just your thoughts on how your, your guys just dealt with everything today. Just Pat got fined early in the day, another slow start, and, and obviously the physica physicality of the game is how you guys got through everything. Uh, <laughs> Just like they've done it all year, they step up when uh, when it seems like we're, you know, in a little bit of problems, or if we have a bad road trip and you got a back to back, it's ridiculously hard. And uh, they've stepped up. They they know how to push through a lot of stuff. And uh, and anytime you have James on the floor with a, a closer like that, you have a chance. They know that. But then uh, the contribution of Nene, Lou Williams, Eric Gordon coming in off the bench were just huge. And. I thought it was a great game. It was just intense and the way it should be played. And we got, you know, got a couple things went our way at the end. Jonathan Fagan, Houston Chronicle. Going to the intentional fouls when you did, that's something you haven't done almost all year. What are you, your general feelings about using it and that made it this the exception, a time that you would? I used to not like it. I kind of like it right now. So I don't know. <laughs> it's amazing how it changes. I'd probably vote against it if it asked the coaches. But I don't like it. It's not great for basketball, but it's a rule, and we're going to take advantage of it. And we just thought that we we're already in the bonus. And, um, you know, actually, you know, the little side benefit is that James can rest. Everybody can rest. I've been playing these guys a lot in Nene, and you don't have to run all over to try to get Russell. So we rested on the defense event. Uh, and then we could go score, and it worked out. You know, he missed some foul shots. You know, it's a little scary still because, you know, uh, but that's, you know, that's basketball. Barry, Barry Trammell with the Oklahoma. Uh, game two, similar to game four, you guys made a lot of uh, a lot of headway when Westbrook went to the bench. Game three, not so much. What happened tonight? And do you guys get excited? Whoever's on the court, do they sort of feed off the energy of Westbrook leaving the court? No, I don't think so. Our second group has always been good. It just coincides with uh, with him off the court. But our our second group, it's not the first time that they've either closed the gap or took a lead. And um, I think they did in game one, too, if I'm not mistaken. So uh, they can't play great all the time, but uh, it's a great group. And uh, with uh, Lou Williams and, and uh, Eric in there and Pat, and, you know, we have a lot of scoring still. So um, just, you know, nothing special. It's just they're great. You mentioned a man's game, very physical. Maybe the whole game's definitely first half. Did it take you guys a while? Was it difficult to adjust and, and sort of play through things better the way you needed to? Yeah, I mean, I, yeah. I mean, I would I would say yes. I had to look at the film exactly. <laughs> Again, another slow start, but not slower than the other time. So we're gaining on it. Um, but they're they're I mean they are athletic and physical. I mean it's it's a great combination for them, and it you know it's. We adjusted a little bit, but uh, that's something we'll have to deal with. They're, they're, that's why they're here. They're, that's why they're good. They just keep coming at you. And they've got a lot of guys that are very athletic, long, and, uh, you know, makes it tough. Got one more? Mark. 
Myron Patton Fox, uh, Oklahoma City. You won the rebounding battle again. A little bit, I won't say maybe surprised, but they're a very good rebounding team. No, they are, and that's a, that's a huge point of emphasis, and um, that's just will and a want and went after them, and, and uh, we did a great job. And again, going back to Nene was, was a man in there, but then you have, we're pretty good offensive rebound because Pat comes in and gets his hands on a lot of balls, and, and just a lot of guys contributed, but uh, sometimes the ball bounces your way, too. So it's, hey, it's not something that we can practice or do or think about too much. We just, if you put the right energy and the ball bounces your way, then we got a heck of a chance.